to make right decisions with cosmic power. All successful men and women possess one outstanding characteristic, and that is their ability to make prompt decisions and to persist in carrying these decisions through to completion. A distinguished industrialist once told me that in his 50 years experience in dealing with men and women in the commercial industrial fields, he found that all those who failed had one characteristic in common. It was that they hesitated to make decisions and they vacillated and wavered. Further, when they did make decisions, they were not persistent in adhering to those decisions. The power of decision. The power to decide and to choose is the foremost quality and the highest prerogative of man. Man's capacity to choose and to initiate what is chosen reveals his power to create as a son of God. I have a letter from a young man dramatizing the power of decision. He came to a decision in his mind to acquire a Volkswagen automobile, knowing that as he decreed it with feeling, his deeper mind would respond in ways he knew not of. How his power of decision won him a new car. The following abbreviated letter is a marvelous example of making a clear-cut decision and persisting mentally in that decision. Dear Dr. Murphy, I came to a decision to purchase a car. I did not have the required amount of money. I decided to trust my deeper mind, and I dismissed the problem from my mind, knowing my subconscious had the answer. On April 8th, the Friday night, a friend asked me if I would go to a teenager's fair, and I decided to go on Sunday night. A car was being given away that night. I had a chance of 35,000 to 1 to win. My name was selected, and I won the dream car of my mind. I know the reason I got the car was my trust and faith in my deeper mind to solve the problem of a car. As I continue to use the truth of God, my life is now in complete harmony. I would like to thank you for opening my eyes to this cosmic power. Seeing you each Sunday gives me what I need to go through the week. Your thoughts and words are giving me and my family a better life. Thank you sincerely. Philip, West Los Angeles How Courage to Side Transformed a Life a young woman once told me that she felt lonesome, baffled, and frustrated because she couldn't decide whether or not she should marry. Her mother was very domineering and objected to every young man in whom she was interested. This young woman had lost all initiative and power of decision with reluctant loneliness and frustration. At my suggestion, she began to make one decision after another for herself, whereas previously her mother had made all the decisions for her. She decided to get an apartment for herself and to furnish it. She came to a decision to purchase her own clothes. She decided to take up dancing, swimming, and golf. She got into the habit of making all decisions for herself. She finally decided to marry a wonderful man without consulting her mother or anyone else, but just following the dictates of her own heart. She discovered that it's never too late to start making decisions and to live your own life in a wonderful way. Remember, it is never too late to bring order to a disordered mind or a disordered affairs by coming to logical decisions and letting those decisions stand. How Power of Decision Brought About a Miraculous Healing the following letter shows the faith of a woman in her own mental process and in her ability to decide, knowing that her mind is one with the cosmic mind of God. Dear Dr. Murphy, a few years ago I had a serious automobile accident. The doctor said he had never seen a neck and back broken in so many places and he doubted I would live. I decided I would live and be healed by the power of God. I knew that all the power of the Godhead would respond to my decision, as I had heard you say many times, that it is done unto you according to your decision. I asked your prayer ministry for prayers, and I claimed frequently that the infinite healing presence was making me whole and perfect, and a marvelous healing followed. I had been told that I would have to wear a body and neck brace for several months and perhaps a year. I wore the brace only a few weeks, and there is nothing wrong with my neck and back now. My heart is full of gratitude, and I know it is done unto you according to your decision. I decided to be healed, and the cosmic power responded accordingly. How a Pharmacist Makes Right Decisions As I was talking one day with a prominent pharmacist, he mentioned that life, with its business and professional complications and its attendant confusion, often makes decisions difficult, but that he had mastered what he believed to be the ideal method of arriving at the right decision and the correct thing to do. He said that his favorite biblical quotation is, Be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46.10. Then he added, I dwell on the fact that God indwells me and I focus all my attention on the infinite intelligence within. I imagine that God is answering me. I relax and let go completely and feel myself completely immersed in God's quietness and stillness. Inwardly, as clear as crystal, the answer pops into my mind and it is always right for the occasion. This pharmacist has evolved a wonderful technique for receiving answers to problems and for coming to the right decision with true cosmic power. Thomas Carlyle once said, Silence is the element in which great things fashion themselves. 
an effective prayer for the right decision. This is a prayer which I have given to thousands of men and women for guidance in making decisions. They have received marvelous results and have been blessed in all their decisions. Whatever I need to know comes to me from the cosmic power within. Infinite intelligence is operating through me, revealing to me what I need to know. I radiate love, peace, and goodwill to all mankind in thought, word, and deed. I know that what I send out comes back to me a thousandfold. God in me knows the answer. The perfect answer is made known to me now. Infinite intelligence and divine wisdom makes all decisions through me, and there is only one right action and right decision taking place in my life. I wrap myself in the mantle of God's love, and I know the divine right decision is mine now. I am at peace. I walk in the light, full of faith, confidence, and trust. I recognize the lead which comes in my conscious reasoning mind. It is impossible for me to miss it. God speaks to me in peace. Thank you, Father, for the answer now. Whenever you are wondering what to do or say or what decision to make, sit quietly and affirm the above truth slowly, quietly, reverently, and with feeling. Do this about three times in a relaxed, peaceful mood, and you will receive the divine impulse, and you will experience the inner silent knowing of the soul, whereby you know that you know. Sometimes the answer comes as an inner feeling of certitude, a predominant hunch, or a spontaneous idea which wells up clearly in your mind like toast pops out of the toaster. Intuitively, you will recognize the right answer or the right decision to make. Make right decisions by creative intelligence prayer. Logical decisions will guide you. When you use the term logical, you mean that your judgment is reasonable, sound, valid, based on the rational principle of the universe, or the way a thing is, or that which is consistent and deducible. It is logical for you to think good, since only good can follow. It is illogical for you to think evil and expect good, as thieves or thoughts grow after their own kind. This is the mental universe, and the mental law is always supreme. Logical decisions are always based on cosmic wisdom. How a woman became a stockbroker against all odds. A sales lady in one of the department stores in Los Angeles was interested in the stock market for many years and had become a very successful investor. This young woman took a required course at night which qualified her for employment in her brokerage house. She had numerous interviews but was unable to get employment because, as they said of her sex, she said to me, they just don't want a woman. I suggested that she come to a decision and affirm boldly, I am now employed in a brokerage firm with a marvelous income consistent with integrity and justice. I explained to her that the minute she came to a decision in her mind and persisted in that decision, her subconscious mind would respond and open up the way by revealing the perfect plan for fulfillment of her ideal. I instructed her also to follow the lead which would come to her conscious mind. The sequel is interesting. A strong urge came to her to advertise in a local paper, offering to work free for two months and pointing out that she had a large circle of friends to potential customers. She had immediate offers from three firms, one of which she accepted. This shows that you must have faith in your ability to decide and that when you come to a clear-cut decision backed by faith in the powers of your subconscious mind, wonders will happen in your life and you will banish all frustration. Decide to accept your cosmic divinity now. People who fear to make decisions or who are afraid to make choices are actually refusing to recognize their own divinity, for God indwells all men. It is your divine and cosmic right to choose and to make decisions. You can decide to be healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful because you have dominion over your cosmic world. Your subconscious mind is subject to the degrees of your conscious mind with cosmic understanding, and whatever you decree shall come to pass. The Bible said, Whatsoever a man soweth in his cosmic subconscious mind, that shall he also reap. The cosmic power is no respecter of persons. The law of your subconscious mind plays no favorites, no more so than any other law of nature. It is illogical to put your hand on a hot stove. If you do, you suffer the consequence. To jump off the roof of a high building is illogical, as the law of gravitation is impersonal and not vindictive in any way. It is illogical to believe that two and two make five. It is foolish to go against the laws of nature, the immutable rules of God's universe, the way things are. What happens from lack of decision? A man once said to me, I don't know what to do or what is reasonable or logical, and I won't make a decision. I explained to him that he had to make a decision. He had decided not to decide, which meant that he had decided to take what comes from the mass mind in which we are all immersed. 
Also, if he decided not to decide, the random mind would decide for him inasmuch as he refused to govern his own mind. He began to perceive that it was foolish for him not to do his own thinking, reasoning and deducing, thereby permitting the laws of average or the mass thinking of the race to make decisions for him. He reversed his attitude and asserted positively, I believe in my power, my ability, and the integrity of my own mental and spiritual process, and I ask myself, if I were God, what decision would I make? I know my motive is right, and my desire is to do the right thing. All my decisions are based on the fact that cosmic wisdom is taking all decisions through me, and therefore it must be the right action. Following this prayer, this man had made all business, professional and family decisions, and he is leading a glorious and wonderful life. He has better health, increased efficiency, more love, more understanding and prosperity along all lines. The cosmic power backs up all your decisions. The cosmic power backs up all your decisions. You are a self-conscious individual and you have the capacity to decide. It is wrong to let others decide for you or to say, I will let God decide for me. When you say that, you mean a God outside yourself. The only way God or infinite intelligence will work for you is through you. In order for the universal to act on the individual plane, it must become the individual. You are here to choose. You have volition and initiative. This is why you are an individual. Accept your divinity and your responsibility and make decisions for yourself. The other does not know best. When you refuse to make decisions for yourself, you are actually rejecting your divinity and you are thinking from the standpoint of the weakness and inferiority of slaves and underlings. How an alcoholic was healed through his power of decision. A confirmed alcoholic told me that a man once pointed a gun at his temple and told him he would shoot him through the head if he drank the whiskey in front of him and he said, I had to drink it. I couldn't stop. It was a compulsive act. I didn't care whether or not he shot me. This is the point out to all that the power of the subconscious mind was behind his decision. He actually experienced according to his decision. He subsequently reversed his decision and at my suggestion he declared solemnly for about ten minutes. I have come to a definite conclusion in my mind, and my decision is that I am free from this curse of alcoholism. Through the cosmic power which backs up this decision, I am completely free, and I give thanks to God now. This man has not touched any intoxicating beverages in over five years, and is completely free of the habit. He is a new man in cosmic consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that ye may prove what it is that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Chapter Summary Highlights to Remember All successful men and women have an outstanding characteristic in common, and that is their ability to make prompt decisions and to persist in these decisions. The power to decide is the foremost quality and the highest prerogative of man. It never fails in cosmic consciousness. If you come to a clear and definite conclusion in your mind to possess a car, even though you have no money, if your decision is that your subconscious can and will supply the car and you believe implicitly in its power to do so, your subconscious will bring it to pass in ways you know not of. Its ways are past finding out of your conscious mind. If you have been dominated by others and have permitted them to make decisions for you, start immediately to make decisions for yourself. Then you will get into the habit of making all decisions for yourself. It is never too late to assert your own affinity which is your capacity to make decisions for yourself. Do not abdicate your own power, privilege, and prerogative to others. This is a sign of weakness and inferiority and a rejection of your own divine powers. You can make a decision that would be healed through the cosmic power if you persist in this decision. All the power of God will back you up. It is done unto you according to your decision. In order to receive the right answer, sit serenely and feel yourself completely immersed in cosmic quietness and stillness. Focus all your attention on the cosmic power within you. Invariably, as clear as a crystal, the answer will come into your mind and it is always right. It comes into your conscious mind like toast pops out of a toaster. The prayer of right decision is based on the fact that infinite intelligence is responsive to your request. Know that infinite intelligence reveals to you what you need to know and that the right decision is yours now, and it will be right for the occasion. A logical decision is one that is reasonable, sound and valid, and in addition, it is based on the laws of mind or the cosmic principle of the universe. It is illogical to think evil and then to expect good fortune, health or happiness. There is always a solution for any dilemma. There is always an answer to every problem in cosmic wisdom. 
when stymied or blocked, decide right there and then that there is a solution and your subconscious mind will be guided by cosmic mind to respond with the answer. It knows only the right answer. Accept your divinity of cosmic mind and decide now to be healthy, happy, successful and prosperous. It is done unto you as you decide. The law of your cosmic mind plays no favorites. Use your mind wisely, judiciously and constructively. If you say, I won't make a decision, you have decided not to decide, which is foolish and makes no sense. You are actually saying, I'm going to let the random or mass mind decide for me. Decide from the standpoint of cosmic wisdom. If your motive is right, your action will be right. Decide for yourself now. The cosmic power is behind all your decisions, good or bad. In order for God or a cosmic power to act in your life, it must act through your thought and imagery. In order for the universal power to act in the particular, it must become the particular or individual. This is why you are an individual, which means you have volition, initiative and freedom to be, to do, and to have all the blessings of life, if you choose wisely here and now. You can be completely free of any destructive habit by coming to a definite decision in your mind and then knowing that all the power of the cosmic presence will back up your decision. This is your freedom your enfranchisement and your passport to the joyous heavens of your own mind.